Wow, do I have some stories for you today. First up, Vega looks like it's actually going to have three tiers after all. Plus, we could find out more from AMD before SIGGRAPH and massive deals. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Okay, I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but this news was something I knew you wanted to hear, so please forgive its length or lack thereof. Either way, let's just get into it. So while this was originally reported by 3dcenter.org, video cards also apparently spoke with their, well, quote unquote sources to confirm it, and they're actually saying these at least exist, though the names are more than likely code names and won't have any bearing on the final product's name. Concerning video cards, I honestly do tend to believe them pretty well, but please know that until we hear it strictly from AMD, it's still just a rumor or leak. Okay, so apparently someone on 3D Center's forum who is able to chat directly with AMD leaked this to him. According to him, there's going to be three versions of RX Vega, and they're actually really interesting. You can see right here that there's RX Vega XL, XT, and XTX. The XTX and XT versions have the same shader units at 4096. Keep in mind that this is the number that essentially represents the processing units in it, so it's directly related to its computability. When you move down to RX Vega XL, you can see it's running quite a bit less at 3584 shaders. I think if this is true, it's clearly meant to challenge the 1070, which I know a lot of you are going to be happy to hear, because I know a ton of you really can't afford the 1080 price point, which trust me, I'm right there with you. But at least now there's competition when it comes to the 1070's price point. But obviously that's not all. There's two things that differentiate the XT from the XTX. The XTX is water cooled through an AIO and it also comes in requiring a lot more power. From this, I think it's pretty clear that the clocks on the water cooled version are quite a bit higher. With that said, will it be high enough to outperform the 1080 Ti? I don't know. It just may be possible, and I really do mean may though, I'll at least say that if they end up offering three different GPUs, it would be odd not to match them up directly with the 1070, 1080, and 1080 Ti. Of course, one being right on par or slightly worse is still comparable if it's cheaper. My first thought was that they just slapped an AIO on it to outperform the 1080 Ti, but really this isn't the first time AMD has done this, and I don't think it would be out of the realm of possibility that they planned it all along. Of course, as you get into huge overclocks, you lose efficiency, so we can't think it's so much higher clock that it would just annihilate the 1080 Ti, but if it's at least somewhat able to outperform it, I think that would definitely be a nice win for both AMD and FreeSync users everywhere. Next up, in a bit of extremely related news, AMD has announced that RX Vega is going on tour. AMD is going to be going to both Hungary and Portland, Oregon, July 18th and 21st respectively, before the official reveal in Los Angeles at SIGGRAPH. We don't have any details about what they'll be showing, but here's to hoping it at least includes more than FPS meters in random parts of games. Lastly, we have Amazon's Prime Day, and while I went over some things on sale at the GameRail Discord server, definitely check that out by the way if you love hardware. Uh, AMD is having one huge Ryzen sale. And believe it or not, it isn't just for Prime members. The only one for Prime Day is a 1700X for $299, but the 1700 is also on sale for $269, as well as Ryzen 5's 1400 coming down to $159 and the 1800X at $419. I'll have Amazon affiliate links to those in the description if you're interested. So while that ends today's video, what do you think about Vega? Are you excited or have your hopes fizzled? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.